hey, it's your girl Andrea. Um, my hair's a little cuckoo crazy, it's just what it is. Um, we have a cow calving, and mom said she only has one foot and a head coming. We're likely gonna have to go find our second foot. That way the calf can actually come back. So more than likely he's probably just tucked a little bit and I'll just have to push the calf back in, grab a foot and go. So figured I'd start a vlog, take you along for all the fun. We didn't have any calves last night. Um, we actually haven't had any calves since we got the twins out of the old cow 95 so yeehaw here comes another one but dang it i was hoping they'd be able to do this on their own but apparently she needs some help but this is all baby's fault <laughs> mom lied <laughs> it's the first calf effort 24 12 not 12. there's a difference <laughs> Cabin pen or something. Yep. No twin in that one. <laughs> Hi, twinny twin. Hi. Yeah, I got to help. Got anything to say about that? <laughs> he's kind of the like he used to always be the one that would run the calf jack yeah. and be in control and pull calves and such but now it's I 
And then dad was there for help. And we were yelling at him to go around a certain way. And he was getting mad. But, you know. Three heifers left. She was just missing one leg. It was bent. So elbow straight at her pelvic bone down. And then as she pushed, she kept like shoving it into herself. So she wasn't getting any process. Uh, or any progress. <coughs> so it took me like, I don't know, a couple minutes to get it up. Thought she was going to break my wrist a couple times. Because it was like right over the bone. But we're good now. It was a big calf. But made it out all right now i gotta go finish what i was doing quick so um that foot was very much down below her pelvic bone so when calves come up up into the birth canal they like literally come up and then into the canal so his <laughs> his left foot was just chilling down and like <laughs> way down in the uterus yet um pointed way down um and like the tip of it was his toe was way in there like i'm surprised i could even reach it but then as she was pushing, it was pushing his elbow back into the pelvic bone because it's like a like this, they have to come up and out. And then my hand, I was like, if I don't end up with a broken or like somewhat bruised hand, it's gonna be a good day. I didn't. <laughs> but every time I would like get the right angle to pop the foot up, she'd push really hard and I was like, oh. and there's so much pressure that your arms start to fall asleep as well because they're just like clenching and squeezing and like when you're going in to help them they try to push you out it's a whole ordeal but calf 31 on the ground so we are starting to maybe ramp up <laughs> out of 27 moms 26 moms 26 moms actually so is the twin saga over i don't know but that was a single so it does prove that we can have singles and he's up and trying to nurse, so she's good. She was kind of unsure of him for a bit after the hard birth, and she went down right away, which is why you missed seeing the rest of the delivery. Because it was out of camera view, and I was a little preoccupied. Um, but we had to crank him out, so uh, just because of where she fell and the way she was laying, she kind of gave a little bit less space for the baby. But baby's out, baby's alive, good to go. Hey, babies. First set, last set. They both just drank half a bottle, so. Oh, <laughs> seep it. Hi, it's not time for milk yet. You so there's our uh, Miss Ma'am we pulled the baby out of. She cleaned and she's, you know, chowing down on cleanings currently. Baby's nursed and done all the things. And then there is a new baby. Everyone's so happy right now. Sure is. There's 20. Nursing. There's a new baby somewhere. Right there. 2316. Second caber. It's a cute little baby. Oh, it looks like he's nursed already, too. So. A little heifer calf. So a little heifer calf. Ooh, two is nice and small. They might start getting busy, folks. You have a kid. Your kid's right there. At some point, I'm going to wake up to like 20 calves. She was mad with me yesterday so getting close but so, yeah due dates here pretty much for everybody so Freck, nothing but a bunch of very full udders and a bunch of mucus hanging so buckle up folks dad's gonna bed the barn here so i locked the newest calf in between these two gates we're not squished if you're wondering but that way he's safe and doesn't get Trampled by cows that are excited. And everybody else is in a good spot or is old enough, so. Hmm. I wonder I wonder what happened there. Hmm. I'm gonna have to lift her up with the skid loader and figure out what happened. In the case of the mysterious flat tire, I had no idea what happened. <gasps> Know if he like ran something over or what? So we might have to go ahead and investigate. I don't know. Oh, 
Universal Women's Day, so hey, Colonel, <laughs> come on! Hayes wants to ride. <laughs> Yeah, it's not bad. Girl. Uh, such a jerk. He's doing Maui today. Oh, it's National Women's Day. So. Yeah. <laughs> so great. I know better. I'm surrounded by women. I'm <laughs> <laughs> like giving You heard it here. He said that we do more work than him. So. I missed the part where Dad was worried that he uh, hit a T post with the tire and sliced it, but can't hear or see nothing so hopefully he just was a little low and hit a hole and it just popped off the rim and we'll see but <laughs> he was waiting for me to get here before he starts yeah, taking like they want to throw it back on start scene two <laughs> magical <laughs> i have a little clapboard <laughs> like an inch and a half maybe I thought they were gonna get to see Cranky Dad, but it wasn't bad. Uh, it's better than a T post hole in it. Yeah, that's what I told them you were worried about, but. T post, T -post holes make you cry because it's a new tire. Yeah, I'm sure that's not a cheap tire either. If your skid letter tires are. Uh, this is more expensive. I was gonna say, it's probably a $400 tire. Yikes. Not sure. Could have been worse, so. Thumbs up. Um, we're gonna go wrap up chores. I think mom's down here somewhere. I don't really know what she's going to. Take everybody over and I'll see you in the morning. I'll just continue this vlog if anything exciting happens tonight or in the morning and I'll make sure to update you on that tire to see if she's still inflated in the morning or if she's flat. <laughs> Good morning. It was cold enough to get frost on the windows, but it is gorgeous this morning. Mainly because there's no wind. There's no breeze that's like coming in making it cold. It's only 27 degrees, but the sun is shining and I'm feeling good. So we'll go adventure to the farm. Um, as far as I know, nothing really, I mean, nothing crazy happened because I didn't get a call, but we'll go see what's going on. There was no new calves last night. Just the same gang we've already had. So, well, we had one new calf yesterday. A banjo here in a stand. <laughs> a big old donkey here. 
So that's the one that we pulled yesterday whose foot was down. And then this little thing, you're out of a second calf. Second calver. I get it. Just. A bunch of goats going to their new home today. So these seven, <laughs> including the tame one that's now chewing on the vaccination I just gave them, um, are going to one home. And then there's two in this pen, this farthest one right here, and then the farthest one on that side are going into Minnesota. So babies get into their new homes, which is exciting. So we're going to nine babies today. There's only going to be like one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten left out of like 25. So they're going quick. <laughs> Tire update. She seems to be fine. So whether it was just a little low and popped off the beat or what, but that's good. Hallelujah to that because I don't want to pay for that tire. Well, dad would pay for it because it's his tire. <laughs> but nobody wants to. So um, one of my cows cast at 1805. A little while ago, doing well. He's running around on the already. So that's good. Um, so I'll see if anybody else decides to have a baby today. We are going to vaccinate the fourth set of twins and uh, send them back down to pen six because West River cow was a lot happier on the other end of the barn since we've had her up closer on pen one on the east side up by the office. Um, she's not really like the biggest fan of humans. So we're gonna send her back to her friends with her babies um, and just keep an eye on them because we're gonna walk the barn anyway, so it doesn't really make a difference if we are working on the office, if you didn't know, um, if we have her out front or wherever for us, so. Get the babies moving and she'll be happier. And then hopefully we get some more babies in the next little while and then we can shift around cows that are outside the barn, shift into the barn in the front two pens, shift the pairs that are old enough out before we get some rain that was any of them start calving they're not calving potentially out in cold muddy conditions if we're supposed to get like an inch rain so i know let's not try to hit me honey i'll try yeah. Just positioned up higher. Okay. But I can get them. Because they only had like one sack earlier. Yep. Here's the bander if you want to do that. 80 pounds. Give me both of them. Otherwise, I can ban this one quick and then I can help you. There we go. Apparently, I missed out on recording, but uh, they're back down in this pen. So they're back where they were born. And it was really cute seeing them trot behind her mom. And apparently the play button didn't happen, so. Sorry. <laughs> they missed out on 822 having a fit that we were taking babies and she thought they were hers, but they're not. 
they'll be happier down there. Like I said, she just doesn't really, she's not a fan of being around humans, so she'll be a lot happier with her fellow cow gang and not seeing us every four seconds when we're up here, so. They're doing well, I'm gonna keep an eye on them. Hi, Kill. Hey, are you a heifer? Yep. It's a heifer. Did 2320 have a baby? With her baby? Or is the baby just not with mom? I don't think the baby's with her. I think that's somebody else's kid. Please hold. I don't know where she is. This calf has a tag. Yeah, it's 265. So that's 1805. It's not another set of twins or somebody else. <laughs> Just making sure. I'm the other one's over there peeing. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Taking them for a walk. It's good for him because the sun is out today. It's glorious. Come on. Goes the other one now. Come on. Good job. Oh. <laughs> She's playing in the corn stalks. And you won't leave me alone. Hey you, you coming? <laughs> you tell this one's like two and a half weeks old? <laughs> They're coming. We got our two new calves today with more coming soon, I'm sure. So we'll see what happens, but that's a, I mean, it was technically two days in my life with the pole and then the tire and then more shenanigans. So if you have any questions, make sure you drop them in the comments as always. Hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time.